The Anna Show, sponsored by the Cleveland Foundation. Be a part of the bigger picture. We're doing this new segment, it's called Ana Llévame Contigo, and that means Ana, take me with you. And today we are celebrating a sweet 15th birthday party, a quinceañera. We're going to bring you a Puerto Rico special, bring you the culture, the food, the point where eagles fly, not chickens. He has to work with our brothers as well. They're just amazed by it, and it's amazing. I love it. Meet these amazing local kids. They just got back from Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic, and they won gold and silver medals. And we are hanging out with a bunch of turkeys. <laughs> Holiday stress, the shopping, your budget, and that difficult person in your family is coming over for dinner. Powerful tips so you can have a joyful holiday season. And we take you to a restaurant in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and find out how you can win a Sweet 15, Sweet 16 birthday party valued at $10,000 for your daughter, granddaughter, sister, friend, or for yourself. Only on The Ana Show. Good morning, buenos dias. Welcome to a special edition of The Ana Show. We're hanging out with a bunch of turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> people we're talking real turkeys here in Ohio they sell over a million turkeys a year and this is a smaller farm they have about 75 turkeys here um, they were actually born in July look how big they are and we are here <laughs> with the farmers <laughs> Cindy and Terrence how are you good good so tell me about the turkeys <laughs> Well, we have um, rare breed turkeys. Uh -huh. They're all recognized by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy as being rare because we don't eat them anymore. Okay. Um, so the real large ones are broad-breasted bronze. They have the dark feathers, that's why they're white. And then the heritage turkeys, which are the brown okay. ones and the, the, the brown light and white the, ones. The brown and white ones and the light gray ones. Uh -huh. um, the heritage turkeys kind of look like the normal well, painting the Thanksgiving oh, dinner. Yeah. They, have that <laughs> they like me. They're yeah. laughing at everything I say. <laughs> um, they, they can fly. Um, they have a lot of fur me. Okay. So, yeah. how many turkeys do you sell every season? Uh, about this month. About 75? Yeah, we'll sell out. Okay. Yeah. So, why why buy them here versus at the at the store? Do they taste better? I'm thinking oh, they probably do. Oh yes, they're do. much more flavorful. They're, they're pasture raised rather than in a barn. Okay. Uh, we feed them non-GMO feed besides the grass they get to eat. Uh, spent brewer's grain, that's what they're eating over there in the tray. We get from the local uh, brew pub, our chaise. Okay. And, and so And the, the, the uh, pumpkins. I think that's more for their entertainment than they just like to eat them. Okay. <laughs> I don't think they get much nutrition out of it. So if somebody were to come and check out your turkeys, how much do they cost? Uh, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> the bride breasted are $5 a pound and then the heritage are $7 a pound. Um, and that's because the heritage take a little bit longer to grow, so we're starting at the beginning of the Actually, as a kind of a new experiment this year to make sure we could get them to size uh -huh. because we did used to start them in March. Okay, so we're looking at one turkey, the average turkey. If somebody wants to get a turkey here, how much does it cost? Around a hundred dollars. Okay, and that's yeah. much different than the store, right? Because usually it's like 99 yeah. cents a pound. <laughs> so they must be very, very good. They are. They're, They're very, very good. good. All yes. right. They're not injected with fluids. Um, they've got a happy upbringing here. They're out doing what they're supposed to do, eating bugs and grass and all the goodies we put out for them. Are they yep. friendly? Oh, sort of. <laughs> sort of? What does that mean? <laughs> they they, they laugh at your jokes, <laughs> yes. That's... So, um, so could you pet them or? You can try. Well, am I going to lose my hand though? No, or my no. fingers? Or... No. So where do they like to get? Um, like oh, I don't, I don't really know. Well, why don't you pet one and see what they do? Oh, they're well, that's go what away. they'll do. Okay, yeah. got it. <laughs> now, if they came to buy the turkey, um, which would be the best tasting or, or what's the difference in flavor? Well, they're all flavorful because they're out here um, 
eating the pasture. Um, they're not crowded, they're not in a confinement situation, they're not stressed. Um, but the heritage with more dark meat. That's the black one? Um, well, yeah. the um, light gray ones, uh -huh. um, the which red is red called the blue slate, and the bourbon red. So blue slates and bourbon reds are the heritage turkeys that we have here. Um, and they have more dark meat. So dark meat is more flavorful, and because they take longer to grow, they have more turkey flavor. What made you decide to start raising turkeys? We the goats. Fell and, yeah, <laughs> well, we fell and, fell and hit our heads, and then we woke up and said, "Look, there's turkeys." So I have to tell you that, like, I um, I feel kind of bad, like. You know what I mean? That these are going to be Thanksgiving dinner. So how do you get past that? You just look at them as a, as a food source. Is that what you do? Uh, it is a food source, and, and by the time you get to the them being full grown, you're really <laughs> yeah. you're and, over them. <laughs> and if we didn't raise them for Thanksgiving, they they wouldn't exist. Well, thank you so much for joining us this sure. morning. You're welcome. Uh, we're going to fly the coop now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have a great Thanksgiving. All right. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anna's Outstanding Kids is sponsored by Coleman Spawn Corporation. That's all. That's all. These outstanding kids competed in the Olympics of Taekwondo. They represented the United States and Northeast Ohio. It's an international championship held this year in Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic. So this is Jackie, Jessenia, and Dito. So where do you start? We start over here with Dito? Hi, Dito. So which medal did you win? Or medals? Two gold medals. You won two gold medals? Oh my goodness. How was it? Easy. Ah! Easy? Why do you say easy? I don't know. Did you train really hard? Yeah. Yeah, how, how much did you train? A, like a year and a half. So one's for sparring and the other one's like for form? Yeah. That's good. How old are you? Ten. Ten, and you're a champion. Congratulations. You're going to show us some moves in a little bit? Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You're amazing. Before we did this interview, she was doing this, and I do that a lot. <laughs> You'll be great. So tell me about the competition. Who was there? Who was represented? Cleveland and um, who else? There was Puerto Rico, Dominicana. There was um, the other side of the La Dominicana. Haiti is there. And then we had like um, Puerto Rico there. And then we had obviously US. It was great. You know, uh, as a Marine, I was able to represent my country as Marine didn't be able to do an international competition. It felt great to be able to put the Team USA on your own and, you know, uh, represent for my country and the school, which is OSC, and a lot, a lot of people who gave me encouragement to keep going. So how did it feel to win when you got called? When I got called, it was just like a whole other, like, world to me. It was like, wow, I won an international competition. I actually did this. We put a lot of work. We, uh, our regular classes are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And for four, two and a half months, we work on Thursday for an hour and a half to two hours, separate for everybody else. We work over here, we went to the lake and run. We went to the park and run. We run around the block. Now we have another competition coming in December next year, God willing, in Chile. But we went to Chile. Chile. Wow. Yeah, we went to Chile. So this little school, like I said, from the west side of Cleveland, is doing a lot. Taekwondo teacher has taught me like to keep self-control and how to defend myself and how to be kind to others. A lot of the kids come over here because either the parents are, you know, they want to get them away from those video games and sit in there and do something. Some other kids like to start watching movies and they want to do it. So when they come over here, it's a different story. Because a movie is one thing and reality is another. So when you're doing the real thing and, you know, it's not only like the kicking and punching, you have discipline. You have to follow, you know, rules. You have to. So it's a little different change. And some of these kids got it from the heart. You know, you start developing those kids and you can see who really wants it. You know, and when they tell you at a certain rank, I want to be a black belt, that is my goal. That's, that's a really good goal. It felt good to me. 
to like be able to like win something that I never thought that I would be able to win. Because when I was a kid, I would always try to like copy the moves of the Kung Fu Panda movie. <laughs> That's why I joined. <laughs> and I actually liked it. And then like, I'm two belts away from a black belt. Say thank you for the great work at the Pan American Games, Santo Domingo, October 20th, 2018, for the US team. Congratulations. You guys? Thank you for the great work, the time you put into it, um, representing the United States OSC team. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Great job. Once again, representing the United States OSC and all the way down to Santo Domingo. Okay? Good job. Congratulations for you. Okay? We take you to San Juan, Puerto Rico, to a local restaurant. Every scrumptious plate captures the flavor of the Caribbean. Stay with us. And later on, we're giving away two free movie tickets. The winner will have the ultimate movie experience at Silver Spot Cinema at Pinecrest in Orange Village. Stay with us. Hi, this is Matt Galini with Mentor iPhone Repair. We fix iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Most repairs are done in 15 minutes or less. If you're looking for a case for your brand new iPhone, we have hundreds to choose from. We also have pre-owned devices at a great price. You need extra protection? All of our tempered glass has a lifetime warranty. Need to get a grip? How about a pop socket? We also have a variety of iPad cases as well. I'm Matt Galini. Come see my new store located across from Great Lakes Mall in Mentor. Welcome to Don Tequila in Canton. For a great family atmosphere and daily specials that can't be beat, come to Don Tequila in Canton. They offer a huge menu like the crazy pineapple and the daily specials. On Monday, a burrito is $1.75 and margaritas on Tuesday for $2.25. They have an outdoor patio full service bar and friendly staff that will always greet you with a smile. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, where looking good is understood. Cleveland's first Hispanic female barber entrepreneur, and she does my hair every week. Her team does hair, updos, eyebrows, pedicures, and will do your makeup for that special occasion. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, located at 4355 Ridge Road in Brooklyn, Ohio. You can contact her and her staff at 216-961-4441, elizabethimage.com. We're at Las Raices restaurant in San Juan, Puerto Rico. That's Here right. Carla. Yeah. Oh my God, so we, you really, you want me to try all this? Yes, everything, you're gonna love it. Okay, tell yeah. me about, tell me what you have. So, over here we got a mofongo, it's a mashed green plantain, mm -hmm. and they stuff it with some curry steak and chimichurri sauce. Mm. How is it good? Oh my God. Do you God. like it? Yeah? It tastes like it's got barbecue on the grill. No, it's like on the grill, and they just marinate with a chimichurri sauce. Oh my God, it's so tender. Mm. That's our can can bites. Like, so I don't know if it's chicharron or chicharron. That's right. <laughs> Here in Puerto Rico, it's very typical. Mm -hmm. uh, it has pork meat, it's mm -hmm. fried, and they have the our famous chicharron. So if you're on a keto keto diet, have you heard of those keto diets? Yeah, but hmm. <laughs> no, no, they're good. No, they're good. Yes, and um, they're actually very healthy for you. They're, they're kind of teaching you how to eat fat. They're fat. And, um, and it's good for you and it makes you lose weight. So and that's doctor, a great plat and plate for that. And the doctors actually say that it's good, that we should yeah. go back to eating butter and, and meat mm. and oil. So I have to try that. You have to try it. <laughs> and no, no, no sugar, no carbs, things like okay, that. Okay, but that's good. Mm. This is much better, no? Got a little bit of fat, mm -hmm. fried pants. I love fried pants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here in Puerto Rico, we are like a person with, we love to eat some fried things. I, I love your beautiful outfit. Thank you. Tell us about it. Our outfit is a traditional dress from here from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And it's from our culture. Mm -hmm. You know, about we have three cultures from here from Puerto Rico. We have from the Spain. We got uh, the Chinos, it's a uh, class of the uh, Indians, and we got the Africans. Okay. So it's something that we're out for sure. It's so a yeah. mixture of many people. That's right, three different cultures. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, so what do we got here? We got a festival typical over here. It's a mix uh, of appetizers uh, from here, from Puerto Rico. We got over here, these are a mashed cassava balls. I don't know if you know about yuca. 
Oh, Juca. Okay. Juca. That's okay. right. Okay. So it's like a there, like we a did root, like opinion. a root. I root that so like root vegetable. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so That's the turn we have a garlic shrimps and inside is filled up of, of mashed root vegetables. Oh my it's goodness. It's a mix Mira of camarón, it's a shrimp. And it's a half potato, jauhi and malanga. That's mm. a jumbo shrimp. Mm. <laughs> and then the name of your restaurant is uh, Los Raices, which Raices. means... That means roots. The roots, roots are our trick. The roots. Oh, well, thank you That's so right. much. You're welcome. This is amazing. Thank Muchas you. gracias. <laughs> Okay, so the holidays are around the corner and we're supposed to be happy, but I think a lot of us are very stressed out because we have so many things to do. I'm here with my good friend, Maria Mar. She's a psychotherapist. How are you? Thank you very much. So tell us about how to de-stress. You know, it, it, we're, not, we're, in, we're in the beginning of November and we start thinking about Thanksgiving. We start thinking about the holidays. What do we got to buy? What do we got to cook? Our budgets. Ah! <laughs> It is crazy. <laughs> and people who have to travel. That's yes. right, yes. The holidays can be very stressful. Mm -hmm. And throughout my career, I've seen that during the holidays, people get more depressed, they get more anxious. A lot of the anxiety is about money, budgeting, not having enough or spending too much and not having money to pay back. Um, a lot of stress too about uh, family. Um, families that are strained, that have been estranged, um, that's sad. Family that we've lost, we think about that during the holiday a lot. Um, so you're right. So what do we do? So yeah, so what do we do about our budget? Because I think a lot of us want to give so much, but then we forget what the holiday is really about. I personally love lists. Mm -hmm. So I recommend people to do that as well. Um, it, it's easy to visualize, so you begin a list. Uh, you can alphabetize it or you can actually do it in order of priority. Who's the one that you're going to spend a little more, who less, and it can become quite a task. We do have a lot of people in our lives and some of us love to give. So we have to be very careful with our budget and listing and just having that Set aside and knowing exactly what you can spend and what you want to give that person can be just a relief from that stress. So there are people who are on really tight budgets and really should not be shopping a lot. So, you know, can we make some suggestions on, I don't know, I thought maybe if you go to Michael's, if you're a little crafty. A lot of people are actually resorting to doing that because I personally like something that someone has made for me. I enjoy gifts that are handmade and that you can pass down to other generations. So most of us are going back to the do-it-yourself and that is a great idea, great um, suggestion. Well, my um, one of my good friends um, from high school, one year she wasn't working, so I remember going to her house and she spent all day cooking chocolate chip cookies for everybody. I mean, she just slaved over, you know, in that oven. And that is the, I've known her for like 30 years and that is the only um, present that I remember that she ever gave me. Isn't that awesome that we, we can think of those because it's so special for her to do that for you. Mm -hmm. You feel very special when someone does something specifically for you. Coming up next Friday, we ask the question, how do you handle that difficult person that's coming over for the holidays? Especially if there's been a falling out or maybe family members are not speaking to each other. Psychotherapist Maria Mars has the answers for you next week. Okay, the time has come. We are giving away two free movie passes to Silver Spot Cinema at Pinecrest in Orange Village. The theater has reclining leather chairs. Let me tell you, the screen is three times the size of a regular movie theater. It has a bar and a full kitchen. So you can order burgers, nachos, popcorn, a half hour before the movie starts. Okay, so in order to win the two movie passes to Silver Spot Cinema, you must be the first person to answer this question correctly. So what bird did we feature in the beginning of the show? Be the first person to go to the Anna Show Facebook page with the correct answer, and you win. Veronia Nail Spa, Lily will design anything you want on your nails. She is in high demand. 
It's a full-service spa located in Menor, Ohio, 7340 Menor Avenue. Call now, 440-953-8108. Welcome to Don Tequila! You can enjoy authentic Mexican dishes, the crazy pineapple, la piña loca, stuffed with beef, chicken, and shrimp, the Ohio State burrito, and they make fresh guacamole right in front of you. A full bar with top shelf tequila with drinks like the jumbo margarita and the michelada. Come for a great party atmosphere. Visit Don Tequila in Manor and at these locations. And if you mention the Ana Show when you go to Don Tequila, they will take 10% off your bill. Mention the Ana Show. I love Don Tequilas. I love coming here with my family on their birthdays. I'm going to come here for my next birthday. This place is amazing. Hi, this is Matt Galini with Mentor iPhone Repair. We fix iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Most repairs are done in 15 minutes or less. If you're looking for a case for your brand new iPhone, we have hundreds to choose from. We also have pre-owned devices at a great price. You need extra protection? All of our tempered glass has a lifetime warranty. Need to get a grip? How about a pop socket? We also have a variety of iPad cases as well. I'm Matt Galini. Come see my new store located across from Great Lakes Mall in Mentor. La Loma in Akron, voted number one best taco in the state of Ohio. La Loma Restaurant, known for authentic Mexican food. Fajitas, pork rotisserie, burrito with white cream sauce, soups, Mexican drinks and desserts, a full service supermarket complete with your own butcher, marinated meats and spices. Bring your family and friends to La Loma in Akron, Tuesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Good morning, buenos dias. This is Olga and Cesar's house, and they're gonna cook Puerto Rican chicken noodle soup, your secret recipe, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. And so I've known Olga for a long time, love her to pieces, a two-time uh, cancer survivor. God bless you. Thank you. And uh, she's got her pink highlights <laughs> in there. And so I'm gonna be translating, you know how um, when you are watching on TV, you'll see the um, the Olympics or the beauty pageants when you're uh, when you're translating for the stars, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be translating for okay. Olga today, okay? Thank you. All right, so where do we start? So these are the ingredients. So you got potatoes. So that's probably about a about one or two potatoes uh -huh. to your liking, right? You got carrots, you got garlic, you got Puerto Rican sofrito. You got the regular cilantro, cilantro is coriander. And so with the sofrito, we would say that um, if you find homemade. home, you made that homemade, yeah. but most of us find another Puerto Rican lady that makes them at home and we get them from mm -hmm. the other Puerto Rican mm -hmm. ladies, right? So yes. I have gotten some from you too, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have some at home <laughs> that you made. <laughs> Thank you. <Good. laughs> Alrighty, and then we've got the angel hair pasta. Um, from Goya, mm -hmm. and we've got um, chicken bouillon from Goya, and then we've got sazon, sazon, which is some seasoning from Noor that has garlic, onion, achiote, and cilantro. And then we've got about three chicken thighs here, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Son tres. So everything is lo que ellos quieran, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. So this is to their like, your liking, but if you want to make it like she makes it, <laughs> then you do it like this, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so where do we start? Where do we start? Garlic. Yum. Garlic. 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 Actually, that was the coriander that was added, and this is the cilantro. It looks the same. <laughs> and then you got Olga's. Ay, eso está rico. That homemade sofrito. That's so good. No, eso no todo bien. Oh, you know, the carrots, you would add the carrots. Y las papas, the potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you sautés that, para darle el pollo sabor, so the chicken gets flavor with olive oil. That's healthy cooking, Bella. Okay, so after she's done sauteing them, everything's going to go in the big pot. El, oh, el, um, el bouillon, chicken bouillon? Okay. 
I'm adding the chicken bouillon. Lo meto. ¿Le da color también, tú crees? No, le parece que le gusta. Okay, it gives it more flavor. Oh, okay. That gives it more flavor. That's a good idea. I never thought about putting chicken, yeah, on the chicken. Like when I make soup, yo lo met, I just throw it all together. <laughs> and she laughs at me. But that's okay, you can laugh at me. So what about este sazón también? Okay. Este es el sazón que da el color? Sí. Okay, so this is seasoning. No, no, ese no. No? Sí, sí, ese, échalo. Okay. Pero que no quede tan rojo como el otro. So this is a song that actually has color, so it'll give the chicken color. I'll make a pretty orange, isn't it? It's like a orange. Mm -hmm. Mmm, riquísimo. Porque alguna gente lo pone el pollo al vir ahí en agua y como que la sopa no sale nada. Sí que es. Oh, okay. She says a lot of people will start making chicken noodle soup and just throw the chicken in the water mm -hmm. and then the chicken really doesn't taste anything so that's why she sautés it. Mmm, it smells so good. ¿Algo más? Sí, huele bueno. Okay, so the carrots and the potatoes are the last thing that we add. And I like your little Puerto Rico apron. This is Puerto Rico, la isla del encanto, the enchanted island. <laughs> Esta tiene que salir en el video. <laughs> She said this has to come out in the video. So we'll let that boil, and then when that boils, we'll add the noodles and the potatoes. So are you guys going to put in the potatoes? Son dos papas, ¿tú te? Sí, dos papas, sí. Two potatoes? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try uh, Olga's amazing soup. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Oh my goodness. It's like, it might be the best chicken mm -hmm. soup I've ever had. It's so good. It's a dream come true. Win a Sweet 15 or Sweet 16 birthday party. You can enter your friend, daughter, sister, granddaughter, or for yourself. Go to the Anna Show Facebook and write a letter telling us why you or someone you love deserves a $10,000 Sweet 15 or Sweet 16 birthday party. Restrictions apply. We will take your letters all through November and announce one winner at the end of the month. And we couldn't do this without the support of our local businesses who are sponsoring this giveaway. Please check them out, contact them. They are businesses that rock right here in Northeast Ohio. Vaya con Dios.